welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a BoxyCharm video where I unbox my BoxyCharm and show you all the things I got and how they work on the face. There were a slight couple of misses, but mostly hits. Pretty good box this month. Last month was still my favorite I think I've ever gotten. But yeah, if you want to see what I got, how they perform, and what I think about them, then just keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be another BoxyCharm video. I just got mine in the mail a couple days ago. Um, and I already had makeup on when I got it in the mail, so yeah. I'm going to try on the products that are in the box, which is why I have like zero makeup on. Which I feel so ugly right now. I got this pimple over here that won't go away. I feel just gross and oh my god, I feel like so pale even though I'm not. Just not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. So I need to get some makeup on my face like ASAP. Theme of the box this month is road tripping, I guess. And it looks like we get five products in this month's box. Sometimes I think there's four. Um, but yeah, so this tells you how much everything is and what you get. I'm going to test everything out and hope to God it looks good because I have to go to work in a couple hours. So I cannot be looking. I can't get much worse than I look right now. So yeah. So the first thing I noticed when I got it in the mail when I opened it was I got some cover effects drops in here. And these are really expensive. These are around $42, I want to say. Not cheap at all. This doesn't actually come in the box. I think I got it with um, my points. I think you develop a certain amount of points over the time with how many boxy charms you get. Like I know not everyone got it, but it's still cool that they even give you like little perks. Like this is so expensive. This is twice as much as the box costs alone by itself. Um, this is not a shade that I would wear on my face, but maybe on the body. It's really, 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 really pink, but the lighting is not okay in here. So the next thing in the box is a skincare item, which is also why I don't have foundation on right now. So this is from the brand Dr. Brandt. And I've heard really good things about their primers. I have never tried their, anything from them, but I've heard good things. And this is a full-size product, and it retails for $42. So again, twice as much as the actual box costs. Say goodbye to Puffy and say hello to Youthful. Rested looking eyes with Dr. Brandt's No More Baggage ID Puffing Gel, formulated with biomimetic, biomimetic technology, peptides, and botanical extracts. You are guaranteed visibly reduced under eye bags and dark circles. It says after your eye moisturizer, warm a tiny amount between fingers and gently pat directly on bags and dark circles. Use alone or under makeup. And I already do have an eye cream on right now, so this is pretty. This is there's a lot in here. Oh my god, it's thick and orange dry, so I'm going to warm it up like it says. I mean, I don't really necessarily think that this is something I need to use. I don't think I have bad under eyes, but whatever. It's so thick. interesting all right so now that that's done i'm gonna go ahead and do the majority of my makeup and then i'll come back and try out everything else that's in the box yeah. so i'll be right back show them your elsa hair um, look at my elsa hair gotta turn around so they can see it say are we matching yeah yeah hmm <laughs> i love you i love you so the next thing in the box is a blush, and this is from a brand called Note, I guess. And it retails for $11.99, so that's not bad at all. Designed to work for all skin types, this luminous paraben-free blush adds natural color to your cheeks while preventing dryness with its argan oil-infused formula. The built-in brush and mirror mix this little compact, a 3-in-1 treat, perfect for the charmer on the go. I'm obsessed with it. This is in the shade Desert Rose. I didn't swatch it. I wanted to swatch it so bad. This is what the packaging looks like. And you just open it up and there is Z Blush. It's such a pretty peach looking color. And then you flip that up and there is a little brush in the bottom, which, no thank you. 
Yeah, it's really soft though. Hopefully it's not like super pigmented. God, my skin looks like crap right now. I don't know what's going on. And I don't know if it was that Dr. Brandt thing, but my under eyes are so bad right now. But the blush is pretty. It's very soft. All right, so the next thing in the box is this guy here, which I think I'm most terrified to use. This is from a brand called Chella, and it's their tantalizing taupe eyebrow cream. And this is... Um, retails for $26 and I've used only ABH and Benefit Brow products for like my entire life and I'm so scared to use something different but this is one of those things where it's got the cream on one side and then on the other side is your brush so this could be really cool to take with you and travel with or throw it in your purse in case you ever need to fix up your brows but I'm pretty afraid to use this right now. So I think you just dig in there. So I'm not really a fan of the brush side. It's pretty flimsy. But I mean, it's working and the color is not bad, but it's pretty dark actually. I don't know how well this would work for people with blonde hair, like really blonde hair. I'm gonna use a pencil for the front though because I always do. Um, but yeah, this is not bad. This would be really nice to throw in your purse if you're like ever out and about. My biggest thing is, you know, like when you do your makeup and you think it looks good, but then you get in the car and you're like, what did I do where you realize you like missed a spot on your brows? So the next thing in the box is an eyeshadow palette, which is kind of cool because the last one had an eyeshadow palette in it that I'm literally obsessed with. I've been using it nonstop. So this one is from the brand Crown Brush, which I have heard of, but I don't think I've ever tried anything from them. It comes in this box here. It's like, so I know you could either get this or a setting spray. I saw on their Instagram. Um, and I obviously got the eyeshadow palette. I've used the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Finishing Spray before, and I really liked it, but sometimes it would leave dots on my face and it would take my makeup off. So I'm not like the biggest fan of it, so I'm kind of happy I got the eyeshadow palette. So this is what, ooh, oh, okay. This is what the inside of the palette looks like. The pans are pretty big, actually. And when I saw swatches on their website, I'm not gonna lie, I was not really impressed. They looked really crappy, but... I mean, it looks pretty in person, a lot prettier than I expected. It also looked like they were all like straight just browns in the pictures I saw, but in person they're like really plummy shades. So yeah, it's right up my alley. Alright, so my thoughts on, oops, got some fallout. So I actually do like the eyeshadow palette. They blended really nicely. The shimmers were pretty pigmented. I'll go ahead and swatch the other ones for you. They feel really soft, actually. Wow, that's pretty. It's 
pretty too. So I don't know, I don't know what picture I was looking at where I was just kind of like, eh, but that shade is really pretty. Um, I will say like the mattes, the darker mattes are not that pigmented, like you really have to build them up. But this eyeshadow palette's pretty good. I'm probably gonna give it to someone though, just because I have a million eyeshadow palettes like this and it's not my favorite, but it's nice, it's really nice, not bad, not bad. So the last thing in the box is a mascara. And I've never had a mascara come in a tube like this before. I've seen them, but I haven't had one. And this is from the brand Wonder Beauty. And it's the Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. This retails for $24. So the wand does have like a little dip in it and I think that's supposed to like give you curl. I personally don't like when mascaras do that. I do like the bristles on this one. It reminds me a lot of my favorite Lanco mascara. So it's definitely lengthening for sure. Not my favorite mascara. You gotta kinda work at it a little bit, but not bad. I actually am like completely out of mascara right now, so I was happy to get this in the box. Overall value of the box was about $134. And I forgot to tell you the eyeshadow palette is $29.99 normally. Um, I wouldn't pay that much for it, but it's still pretty. I like the last eyeshadow palette with that a lot better, but that was more of like a colorful one. For this video, I hope you guys liked your boxy charms. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.